Hello, back again. Now we want to start to work with our libraries. So, first a few words how to read books. I don't think that it's adequate if you have a lot and if you get uh, used to it and uh, have a big library and so on. Nobody reads all the books, but you know them. You get friends with them. So, like with every friendship, it's not about understanding things. So, it's, uh, it's about having good talks, having a beer, and, uh, or go on vacation, whatever. But it's not about uh, reading it from the, so that your friend has uh, no secrets. Or it's not about that you, uh, that you read it and then the text somehow is dead. And then it's about your private um, uh, meditation, about trying to analyze, analyze, to understand what he might have uh, told and so on. No, you need a dialogue with the book. And the book is not dead, it's a person. So it's the author talking. So and it's talking if you are able to ask proper questions. So the idea is now that we can have all these books and they get vivid with uh, computing. This is what we, what I always say, this is co complementary to the circular writing, what we have with code. So we need a kind of circular reading, which means we have to start to talk with a book as a person. Therefore, the first thing to do is you have to, have to check whether you might get friend with the author. If not, don't read the book. So look at him as a person, look at his biography, and so on. If you think this might be interesting, I would like to be frank with him, then start concentrating on this book. So now I want to show you how uh, our software and the things we discussed can uh, support the uh, idea of uh, of this new can support this new attitude to write a library and to reading. So, okay, now with our environment, we go for uh, self-organizing maps. So this is a machine learning tool we are uh, working with. Now we want to first to give you a first idea. We want to start on looking for uh, the images. So we all, like always we have here we have the images and we can work on text. This is what I provide uh, this semester. So we have uh, the images like always there's a code if you want to understand and read that. We have to enable the dynamics and now we want to and we say the book gets an image identity and you will see what this means. So the first line here is we can you can do it in this distribution or put it to in your own document doesn't matter. So what we have here is uh, the status line. So we see what the evaluation and uh, processes are doing. Sometimes it gets a little lonely. So then you see the status uh, and how long you have to wait. So the only command you have to learn is, we say always ID instead of NTP, these are IDs. So and then with image we go for image and we say create, create an image identity. So a person which knows images. So and uh, we say you don't need parameters because there is a dialogue and we name that, uh, this is our Ackermann or scanned book from Cenoteca. So we need the semicolon because we don't want to see that. Now he's asking and you see there's a status. The dictionary, so we can have a lot of books, for example my whole library and now for the we can have all the ready books or for my uh, it's not working with links, unfortunately, now. I have to work on that. Now we go with Ackermann and we say, I want to have all the images of Ackermann. So now, uh, uh, here he ask how big it is. So we, we'd seen the, how big it should be. We will see it soon. Uh, in this case, 170, we, I think we're five, we are fine. 
or to six. Now he's getting the 171 uh, pictures. Now he is uh, learning. See the lectures. Uh, I described it in more detail how this is work. So now he is there. So now it ID image. Um, then uh, we have the show. Uh, and we say Ackerman. And here you see, give it a little, the range of pictures he is providing in his book. And you see they are sorted to different uh, uh, styles. So it's here's other, yeah. So if you want to go to a selection, then MTP, no, uh, ID. Um, image a selection of Ackermann. So now if I go here, uh, we can do that dynamic and it's going automatically. So then you see all the pictures of the same style within the book. So they are sorted in these groups. Yes. So you see it's too big in principle because there's not a lot of uh, alternatives. But you see in principle it works. So if you now go to one of these uh, picture, you go to the um, corresponding page and you get the original. So what we have here is the spectrum, these are black, I think these are arrows of scanning. So if you delete that in a book and then re-establish uh, re the identity, they are gone. But these are the dark ones with a symmetry, with a symmetry. So it's a very simple mechanism how we uh, how I organize it. It's uh, the um, and we can play around with it and we will uh, um, have different uh, ways how to do it in, in future. Now it's uh, the physiology uh, of the picture. So I take, we take uh, HSB instead of RGB, which is the physics, not the physiological uh, representation. And I take the uh, frequency domain, which means it's the interplay and the harmonics of, of colors in the picture instead of the uh, the, uh, the, the physical or the, the geometrical position of, of colors. So it's more the interplay. So it's independent of the location. It's just how red and green uh, uh, are in composition. It's more the composition of the uh, image than the actual coloring of certain parts of the building, uh, the, the image. So that's uh, simple and it's not connected to any semantical analysis. So we will do that uh, later. But you see it's already helpful. Especially, uh, I simply can say ID image uh, open. Uh, and then he is asking for uh, images and for example I have Cameron and uh, we have it here and then if you start an identity, it's saved within your directory. So with, um, with Ackermann's, we have it as well. You can look it up. But here now we have Cameron. You see this is a bunch of data. But let's go again. So we say Cameron is this again. So all right, let's look here at the box. Uh, here, Ackermann, here is our file, so you don't have to recreate it. So it's fast, and now we go to the movies and have Cameron, so this is already done. So you see it's fast, and now go with the same command here. And uh, Cameron, and uh, this is the map of Cameron. And again, you see how these things uh, develop. So we have this kind of color. 
go and say Cameron it's another identity and then you see these uh, scenes of this principal color or you get this principal color so you see it's working pretty well and now you are in the movie and you go for the movie here we are and you can play it good that's I think it is. it's this is how it works now go for another one the uh, library movie library M lib is uh, empty is ID <coughs> image uh, open so I had all this for the for for example for all the movies I had a file called here yeah, I already made it I always need that you can delete it here so and now go for mlib no it's not working oh no it's not selection we need uh, we need the show first I'm a little impatient here mlib so we have it that's the identity now we show it It's a big one. It's here. So these are about um, 40,000 pictures. And uh, you see now we can uh, check it here. And if we go now here, uh, we can do that dynamic or we can evaluate it here. Now it's uh, the new one here. And you see the numbers here, there's 77 pictures in this cell, and these are the 77 pictures. And then you go, you see, this is with Godard, and here we are. Okay. I think you, these are the black and white things. Now we go here, we can have it dynamic. And you see it, it's working pretty well. And this is 40,000 pictures. And you get crisscross, Kurosawa, whatever you have to work with. So, I think this is what I wanted to show. So, what we have is, we have a library, we have a huge set of, uh, of, of uh, persons in our library we principally want to get friends with. Don't put people you don't like in there, or especially they don't like, because, and they want to discuss and to negotiate things, and you're hyperdated and test your hyperdated with. But don't put books there you are uh, uneasy with, or you are, uh, no, uneasy is not the wrong word. Uh, you simply say it's super uninteresting. It's not bad, it's not good, it's uh, white noise. Don't put it there. You can't use noise. Put things you're interested in, positive or negative, you're able to work with and you're able to argue with. Then keep in mind that these books are persons. And then keep in mind that these persons know. So they know, this is the knowledge of the person. And then it depends on what you're asking, where you are, where you, where you end up. And then start what, with your question, what you're interested in, to go somewhere and read what it is. What is this about? And then you can ask and go into discussion with this person. And as you know, these things can be copied to your document, to your working document, whatever you like. So these are persons, and this is what the persons or the whole library knows. It knows, this is all the spectrum it knows. And we have a kind of navigation, we can, one can discuss that, we can have other ideas, in principle we have the code to change that. Uh, how to talk with these persons and how to ask with ask them things
So and if you don't have interesting questions, all this is makes no sense because it's just a bunch of pictures. Okay, I think you find it interesting. We will continue with the same story on texts and the combination makes it very interesting. Thanks for watching.